What motion simulation demonstration would be complete without an engine? Here we have a single piston engine comprised of discrete components. One for a piston, connecting rod, crankshaft, and so on and so forth. This is also built with assembly constraints for mating, aligning, and, and so on and so forth. So if we grab our assembly uh, move component command, we can actually see how this component is going to, uh, to animate. So let's go ahead and move things around and see how our piston goes up and down. This is all because the assembly was built with motion in mind. All right, so going to an, um, an animation is quite simple. All you need to do is activate Animation Designer and then go to something called the Joints from Assembly Constraints and the system will automatically create all of your joints and rigid groups for you automatically. So now it's just a matter of going to your Move Rigid Group. Uh, we'll pick, say, the crankshaft and we'll simply rotate it about uh, maybe this axis and you can see how things operate as you normally would uh, would expect. So basically uh, we looked at the assembly uh, constraint uh, definition and we applied the appropriate joints to mimic that same assembly definition. Now if we want to learn some kinematic behavior it's quite simple. All we need to do is put maybe a, a speed motor on one of our joints, give it an RPM of maybe, I don't know, 50 something nice and simple hit the play and we can watch this thing go up and down now if you're wondering what the piston travel is it's just a matter of adding a measurement to the uh, say the top of that piston and we'll pick the top face of the piston and then we will pick the top face of our cylinder and we'll turn on a handy graphing function and that will show us exactly what that travel is over time and you can see how it's plotting it for us. Now, if you're wondering where that little odd little bump is, uh, that's because the uh, piston is actually traveling past top dead center or past the top of the cylinder, giving us that sort of inverted sign um, shape. But this is a great way of going from your assembly to animation literally in just a few clicks of a mouse and getting some valuable kinematic properties of this.